Hello and welcome to Expeditions, a mod runner game. We are recording this officially on launch day. Very, very excited. Hope you guys enjoy the game if you pick it up. But we are heading to the Carpathians territory. A very, very, very different vibe to Arizona. Night and day, lots of greenery, wonderful clear water, blue skies, ah, oh, luscious mountains. It's gonna be stunning. There'll be new vehicles here to discover, um, obviously through tasks. And obviously a brand new environment to, to explore. It looks pretty tough in parts, but I am up for the challenge. So we need some jack screws. We need some anchors. I'm actually going for multiple anchors. Uh, we need a logic skill here, who's going to offer us more fuel at the outposts, better binoculars, and also marks up hills and down hills. Actually, what I might do as well, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of water here, so why not use... Um, no, I, I, I will now take no water damage. Sure, why not? Begin the expedition. Very, very excited for this. This is going to be so, so good. Oh, that's the Yacht 87, that vehicle you just saw in that, in the, uh, in that screenshot. All right, here we go. Obviously, thick mud as well. Oh, this is going to be good. Very excited. Should we put down a building module straight away? This feels like a proper camp, this. I love it. Cargo drone? So that just... Is that just for fuel? Like, fuel here? Sure. 50,000 that cost me. Wow. So I can now put more fuel in my vehicle. Where's the... Oh, there it is. That is a big drone. Wow. I was wondering if there's a, maybe a way to use that drone to get to me and to give me fuel. That'd be good. That'd be very nice indeed. That was expensive. Oh, well. I arrived here in style. We did it! Oh, I love seeing these logs. Oh, when you're, like, struggling in the wilderness and you see these logs, you know life is just around the corner and the roads become so much easier. I am very excited for this episode. Um, I'm going to be completely transparent. I just tried to record a video. I'm um, trying to basically pick up a truck and save it and it was the hardest mission i've ever experienced in a mud runner game and i got very very frustrated i <laughs> just <laughs> yeah it was impossible it was impossible i think the truck we tried to use the the action just wasn't good enough i don't think the winch on it was good enough i don't think it had enough power i struggled big time so i'm starting from fresh we're going to begin a brand new video um, and explore new, 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 new territory and just try and enjoy it because I've already got stuck <laughs> I believe we're heading for a climb over there Ooh, obviously this is all brand new territory we haven't been here at all this is the first time in only death flip over um, the first time I've ever been here which is very very exciting 37 new expeditions to do a bunch of tasks a bunch of vehicles to find as well and to save very, very, very oh, yes. Looks like we need to head there. Okay, sure. So we need to use... We use the binoculars once we get there. This place looks absolutely stunning. Wowzers. Incredible. Incredible. Is that where we're going? I believe it is. That is quite the climb, wow. Driving up a mountain always has a high risk of overturning the car. Lower the side pressures for better grip. Understood. This is definitely the more tricky environment. Also the most prettiest and uh, most fun to, most, most rewarding as well. I think this is pretty, pretty good avenue just up here. Let's lower the tire pressures. Um, don't, oh, you can put it in low. Nice. We've got the diff locks as well. We are more than ready to go up here. Look at it. No issues at all. Nice steady throttle as well. Not too much power. Not doing the Jeremy Clarkson. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. That is what you like to see. That's what you love to see. What a view, though. 
Incredible. Wowzers. Is this a little airdrop? It is. I will take some fuel. Thank you. Uh, take the supplies. Sure. So now we've got to try and explore the area. So we've done a little bit of this already. Um, but we're going to head back down. And we're going to enter this area and explore it. So this is our new base. Look how beautiful it looks. Mm. Uh, let's set up a few waypoints here. I will meet you. So let's go down the climb first, actually. That could be fun. That could be very fun. Got a bit more fuel on board. She got plenty of fuel. Lovely, beautiful little three point turn. I love the fact you can see the tire tracks and where we've been. This is pretty steep. I <laughs> need to be a bit careful here. Whoa. Whoa. You've got a fear of heights. Whoa. Holy smokes, it's sketchy. Whoa. It's all good. It's all good. We arrived. Whew. Nothing's going to go wrong. Don't worry. I'm fully in control. <laughs> we all know what's coming next. I can't kind of wait to explore this. It's gonna be good. Um, in terms of like the mods and stuff, I did ask a question in the last episode. It was very like 50-50-ish. Pretty more leaning towards mods actually. Um, I think as long as we don't use ones that break the game, so maybe we do like a sort of quick test and don't really do like missions and such or expeditions. As long as they're not. Whoa, what's that? What did I hit? I guess there's a slight... Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> this uh, vehicle's got a bumper at the front and it does run quite low. My trees. Seventy-seven percent. Would be nice to do like a really juicy upgrade here. Oh. Do not tempt me. Yeah, the thing with coming to this territory now and not like finishing Arizona 100% is it opens up the potential for some really epic trucks. Um, I have found one in Arizona. Uh, it should feature in a future video. I was trying to get another one and that's where it got interesting. Um, right, so let's complete the pro prologue. We have to head back and deliver the cargo back to base. There we go. That's a pretty simple little prologue. I mean, just see how big it is. Basically, anywhere you can see, you can get to. Within reason, of course. What's that over there? No idea. I think it's just um, some sort of like lodging. Lodging? Logging. There we go. Put in the end. I really like what they've done with scout vehicles in this game. Scout vehicles are so... There's so many bad scout vehicles in SnowRunner that people just wouldn't use them. I'm pretty sure this was in SnowRunner and it wasn't that great. They've made it more realistic. Like These are off-road monsters in their own right. They deserve the love. They deserve to be good off-road. They do. <laughs> right, there were supplies. I didn't realize that we actually picked up supplies from that, um, uh, that, that cargo drop, that airdrop earlier. We did it! Done! Expedition done. Got some money. Got done the bonus ex um, exercise as well. Bonus exercise. Bonus objective. Yeah, sweet. Let's do another one. I'm ready. That's our first one. You can't get more simple than that. Right. Uh, there is a local story about ancient Mason who created unique sculptures in the wild. We learned that one of his creations is located not far from our base. Find this place, as it may be a cultural heritage site. If the expedition is successful, the custom, the customer will fund the new outpost construction. That sounds useful. So use the same um, scout vehicle. We have unlocked this. We could use it. There, there will be a video of me um, unlocking it at some point. But as I've got it, I might also well use it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, more anchors? Sure. Why not? 
Um, doesn't have a lot of backup fuel, but I guess I should, I should test it out. See if it's any good. This man is going to be responsible for me taking no water damage, which again is just an absolute feat of nature. What a man. <laughs> don't know how he does it, but somehow he does it. Yeah, so you'll see me unlocking this and how I unlock it in a future video. Um, I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do with that video now because it sort of didn't go to plan, but it will be released at some point. I've never driven this before, so this is a bit interesting. Um, it's all like, I've done all the custom stuff to it, and all the stuff I've unlocked at least. It does have a roof rack, but I've not unlocked it. Imagine there's quite a lot of room on that roof. What? Does it have all wheel drive, or is it just always on? I think it might be always on. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> Surely, right? Uh, right, we've got to go this way. Okay. Are we going to cross that water? Oh, boy. We're not that far from base. If we have to recover and start again, so be it. Not a massive issue. Yep, yeah, we are crossing the water. Okay, this will be a test. Use the binoculars to look ahead. There might be a Ford there. Ooh. Do we have a Ford? We do have a Ford. Not a full truck. Because <laughs> I thought that was like, oh, maybe the uh, the Ford Raptor is stuck <laughs> under the water or something. I don't know. I'm so stupid. Oh, that's a fairly embarrassing moment for my first episode. Just got a little bit excited. I do get a bit excited, especially in the first episodes. Playing up new games is always cool, isn't it? going to start and maybe a new outpost. Open up the new outpost, which would be really useful. This is working pretty cool. That was, again, that was pretty deep. I don't, we even have a snorkel on this. I don't think we do. And we just took no damage. Uh, whoever this man is in my truck, who's a member of the team, deserves a massive pay rise. I don't know what he does to the vehicles. He is a, a science god, an engineering genius. I don't know how he does it. Oh, you're doing great. Looks like uh, we're heading to that creek to the south. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, so in terms of the expeditions, you don't unlock trucks or vehicles uh, by doing expeditions. They're actually done by tasks. So we are looking out for tasks where we can get a truck in return for a vehicle in return. Um, like this one. Ooh. It's like I've gone for green. <laughs> it just blends in perfectly. Idiot. Do we see any of these sculptures? Oh, yeah, I do. I see them. It's pointing. It's guiding me. Hello. Thank you for the guidance. Yay! Interesting totems. Looks like someone uses it as a sign to show the route. Well, thank you very much. That is very much appreciated. It's going to be a bit dark, but it should be alright. I look like I'm just in some, like, VW camper van. Oh, this could be interesting. This might be the first point where we get stuck. Uh, let's go slightly closer to this tree on the left. Uh, boom. I knew that was grand. I did say the not. There we go. We're on the other side, but now, now there's a big fat rock. Trying to inch across it. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> It's got quite a low ride height. I believe there is like a rock cooler kit or a lift kit as well for this. Exploring in the dead of night. We made it. Stage complete. Just go straight across the water, can I? Uh, try to pick out a route here. 
What's the best loot? Uh, that's a very good question. So we to get to. Just maybe stick to the shoreline. Just head round. Yeah, I think that's the best route. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> like these scout vehicles, I think they stay on, don't they? I hope they do. I hope they do anyway. Anchor. I think I can use the winch anyway. There we go. Damn. <laughs> Wasn't quite over. There we go. Yeah, start the engine. I don't know. They don't even take any damage from doing that. Oh, that's a top over, doesn't it? A little bit top heavy. Yeah. Too good. Oof. All right, we're rolling again. <laughs> Am I drunk? Come on, man. You are so top heavy. Top heavy. Ooh. Look at the, I love that. Half my truck is completely muddy and splattered and stuffed out of half spine. <coughs> That's hilarious. Alright, we made it. And we took no water damage at all. This is crazy. Some of these environments, wow. Great job. This guy was less fortunate. You need good driving skills to cross the swamps. Is there someone stuck there? Maybe I can cover them. I wonder what's, wonder what's going on. Did someone get stuck? Uh, ooh. What I'm going to do... I know what's making my life a little bit more difficult here is the freaking darkness. There we go. <laughs> Definitely make it a bit more tricky. This is, this is interesting. There's, again, there's not really anything like this in SnowRunner. So see if the game that one's going to be comparing this to. Crazy environments. We made it! Oh, I didn't see that. Wow. I have no idea how long that would take. This was like one person. Jesus. That looks very, very time consuming. This looks like a sculpture. Well, it uh, looks like we can find more impressive landmarks in this region. Potentially. Yeah. Potentially. So, I uh, recognize at least five unknown points of interest on the map. I did not do that. But we do have a brand new outpost, the Eastern Outpost, which is lovely. Good job. Fantastic. Very happy with that. That is the second expedition done. Um, Ancient Fire. What I'm curious about is I don't think the journey is going to be as long, apart from that one, um, as Arizona, but they may be more tricky. I think that's probably what's going to be happening. We're going to take an operator with us. Um, I will take a Hydrologix person with us. <laughs> Whatever he is. Um, let's go back to the canyon. Yeah, the canyon SRI. This vehicle is an absolute monster. And it's got a little bit more sort of backup options as well in terms of like fuel. So it can be quite useful. Let's deploy. Let's go. So is this our new um, Eastern Outpost? I think it is. The brand new Outpost. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Might put down like an essential storage maybe. Might be a good idea. 10,000. 
I've got 158,000, so sure. <laughs> I can cope. Right, should we go? Have I got three wheels in this? Right, so we are heading. Was that a task? Where trucks dare not tread. Ooh, one sec. What is this? Um, is that. Are we going that way? Let's set a waypoint. We are going there. It's right there. I, I, did, I did not see that. I might want to do this first. Ooh. Okay. Where trucks dare not tread. Some careless tourists ventured in unauthorized areas of reserve and their truck slipped down into a deep sinkhole. The engine is damaged and there's no chance to save the truck without some help. Poor fellows offers good payments, but it won't be easy. Noted. Um, do I want more of a... Is that where it is? That's where the truck might be. Ooh, what do I do here? Interesting. Do I get the Axion out now? I think I might do that. Might get the Axion out and save this vehicle. I'm hoping, I think I know what it is. Actually, do we have free run available yet? I'm really hoping this is this is the truck. I hope it is. <laughs> I hope it is. Should we try and get down now? Let's get it done. Pooch truck. There's not tread. So that's quite scary stuff. Can the Axion step up and deliver on its promise? Can we deliver a vehicle? So we can deliver it. While we don't get the vehicle for free, we can then buy it. Yes. Which is not as bad as well. Is that the sinkhole? Wow. So do I have to return it to where we started just there a second ago? Seems like there's a big crater ahead blocking the way. You have to be careful. Well, I think we're heading straight down into it, to be honest. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot, apparently. Yep, I see it. Can I drop down here without dying? <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty steep. Whoa. There it is. I think that's the car, right? It is. This is one of my favourite scout vehicles, the SnowRunner. And they've improved the scout vehicles in this game. So, this is going to be quite the monster, I hope. Not the heaviest vehicle, which is definitely going to help us out. So it's quite steep here. Ooh. Come on. Turn it around. That is a big old sinkhole. Wow. So, uh, Winchy. And we're going to try and flip it over first. Oh, hello. Oh, that was easy. Whoa, I say easy. <laughs> Not quite there yet. Um, select the winch point. Let's try and attach it to the rear. Nice colour. Oh, there we go. I reckon just go straight up there. If possible. Set them done, I guess. Come on. We can do it. Come on. I believe in you. Come on. There it is. Woo! Get in. Come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. So we came in. Well, that route we came, we approached was pretty good. So maybe try that again. That doesn't seem too bad. So it was up here, wasn't it? It seemed to work quite nicely. We're getting some serious pace here. <laughs> I like it we're going too quick. So that's definitely where we have to deliver it. It almost feels a bit too easy. Surely not. Compared to the one where I, I, it's not going to see the light of day, I tried to I tried to finish it. I just I couldn't do it. Um, I think that's where we've got to take it to. Yeah. All right. Sure. It's one of the new vehicles in the game as well. It looks like, it's like an armoured police vehicle. So 
So I was going to do an episode where we do some free roam and we basically recover two vehicles and I recovered one and I could not recover the second one. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. We will see. We will see. It may never see the light of day. Who knows? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, we've got a new specialist. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe that wasn't a specialist. Did we get the vehicle as well? Oh, no. I'm pleased we've got a new specialist. Um, great. So, supplier consumption is minus 30%. How does that work? Okay, so I guess if I'm fixing the vehicle, we don't use as many um, spare parts. Okay. Uh, damage is down. Consumption. Is that consumption of fuel? You're pretty useful. So, we're going to return to HQ. I'm hoping that's the car unlocked. But I don't know. Please be unlocked. Please. I beg. I beg. Is this a scout vehicle? Where is it? It's available! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Come on! Yes, definitely purchase. I want it. And we're going to use this now for the next expedition. See? All comes around. Beautiful. We have no extra gearboxes. Oh, man, the rock cooler kit. Oh, we need to find that. We need to find that. Um, Off-road tyres, definitely. Definitely worth every penny. Extended winch, definitely. Why have I got two winches? Sell them. I don't want them. Uh, a slightly low snorkel, which will definitely be useful. Um, what's this? Nerf bars. What? What's? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Sure. Why not? The side mounts. Oh, there's so many cool parts. Look at these bolt-ons. Do I prefer that? Not really. No, I don't. I definitely don't. So you've got all the rear racks and stuff like that. But the moment, let's go for that one. I've got both on. So reinforced bumper and also the spare wheel. So is the wheel, can you put it on for me, please? There we go. Beautiful. Uh, we could put a metal detector on the roof for free. We could do. Uh, we have a ball bar bumper, which is uh, a nice little slot on the front. Extended visor. We've got to put the extended visor on. <laughs> of course we do. Uh, let's put fuel in. Yeah, extra fuel is always nice. Look how cool it looks. Looks so cool. I might go for that one. Yeah, why not? And what colour should we go for? Ooh. Right, let's go for like a, a yellow, I guess. That would do. Have we, I suppose we haven't unlocked any stickers yet. All the expeditions I've done, and you haven't given me one sticker yet. Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, we're good to go for this expedition. Let's do it. Ancient fire. It's not too far. We can use the Khan for the first time. Absolutely love this car. Absolutely loved it. In Snowrunner. And I'm 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 sure it's gonna be good again. I'm sure of it. So, operator. Thank you. Uh should we hire this new mechanic? Are you more expensive? You are more expensive. Ooh. That's a lot more money, isn't it? Um I guess we'll leave you for now, but yeah, you're definitely you definitely are useful. There's no doubt about that. Right, so let's do the um the mission we were supposed to do before we got distracted. Oops. Easily done, I guess. Oh, it looks so cool. Yes, yeah, so looks like the diff uh, is always locked. All-wheel drive is always on as well. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, compare. I can't even compare with the video that you guys won't see to, to that recovery. That recovery was easy as pie. Uh, this, that, the one you won't see, it was just unbelievably tough. Unbelievably tough. I will definitely try it again at some point. Um, I just don't know when. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit scarred by it, honestly. I'm very scarred by it. I tried it twice. And I failed both times. Oh, look at that. It's the other side. There is a massive crater. Is that from like a... 
meteorite? Was like a, an old quarry? He is massive. That is madness. Imagine if I landed back in the sinkhole again. Oh, poop. Can someone save me? Oh, man, I'm so pleased. We're back in the car. Look at it. It's like it never left. Beautiful. It's so bouncy. <laughs> it's so bouncy. It's got like massive tyres. Look at the tyres. Yes! Quick scan. What are we looking for? Beep. Seems to be over there. Keep it in the zone. Keep. Oh. Man, my the man piloting my drone is drunk or something. This just won't stay still. Stop it! Stop it! That one's done, sorry. I'm not paying attention. Ooh. Ooh. Done it, nailed it. Scanning. Yeah, I do see a massive fire pit there. An ancient fire pit. It's done. Amazing! There is fresh coal in these bonfires, which means some people still come here. We can organize an adventure tour too. Oh, because we'll get more... I guess more people will get stuck, and then we can make more money from it. Yay! <laughs> we can recover their vehicles and claim them. So we've got a great idea. This carnage just in its element. Incredible. Incredible. And it doesn't mean we're never going to get stuck with this car. It will definitely, definitely get stuck. Especially in this, these environments. It's like it just bounces over them. <laughs> Almost like we draw it. Ah! Oh boy. How did that happen? Thank you. <laughs> and there's so many trees to grab onto as well. Uh, with some of the trees. Oh, it's one of those signs again. Thank you for your guidance, Mr. Totem. Thank you. Appreciate you. There is a swamp ahead. Try not to get stuck. Use tire inflation system to get through it. Okay. Will the car need to do that? I don't know. I do not know. Is that a boat? So the snorkel goes just above the bonnet. Should be alright. Steady power, we should get through this. Yes! How good does it look? Ugh. I'll tell you one thing, these stumps can be really annoying. They look, they look, they look, they look, how do I pull it? <clears throat> they don't look very, like they're hidden, but they will attack. Looks like they're cutting down trees. I'm not sure if this is legal. Yeah, they just cut them down. Do they even own this forest? Yeah, stumps can be annoying. Very annoying. They still get under the wheelbase and just, yeah, causes a whole heap of pain. So we're doing some exploring again, similar to previous expeditions. Get to the circle. 100% the circle, and you're done. Looks like we're in it. Let's see if we can use the drone as well. Man, this Khan has delivered. It has delivered on its promise. 
<laughs> uh, let's head over mm, to here and to here and to here. Possible to get there? And I stay. Some of the verticality in this is mad. Absolutely mad. Whoa. Look at that. A freaking sky. Go back down. Try and get up to there if I can, but. Might tip over. Ooh. Sorry, trees. Oh, maybe go back down then. <laughs> That's got a little bit too much. It's just so the verticality is mad. Rest to have a hundred percent of this. I'm gonna get stuck in here. But I'm not careful. Right, let's back out. Quite the verse in there, Scott. I think somebody just wants to keep driving towards the tree. There we go. Magnet or something. Uh, is it worth going any more? Looks like it's got a little bit higher, ideally. Uh, so, set a waypoint for here. Oh, that doesn't work. Whoop. Why is that? I just cleared them, didn't I? Clear. There we go. Oh, it's raining now. Get those wipers on. What an incredibly pretty environment, though. Wowzers. I'll tell you one thing, the Khan's turning sound cool. It's horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Oh, what's this we found? Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. That's a good little find. Um, give me some fuel. Thank you. And that will do for now, I think. What's that? Ooh. Traded by traders. Not too fussed about. We're quite comfortable with money, honestly. Which made money sounds a bit boring, but... Don't really need to worry about it. Put it down to 88%. Yeah, happy um, Expeditions launch day, though. The game is out. Um, should be uh, roughly out when I release the video. I, have, I think the reviews I think the reviews have been around 8. I think iGen gave it like an 8. Which, yeah. I agree with, again... The price is a massive part of that. If it was a full price game, I would definitely have more concerns. <laughs> a bit bluntly. I think the price is, um, yeah, I can't really complain. And if you buy it, I think you, I think you can spend $70. So obviously you get all like, the season one content and all the season content basically. Um, this would be year one, I believe. That's a bit more money, but again, that's going to be. They've got a history of supporting their games with a lot of content. A lot of paid content, but a lot of content. Oh, we're going up the mountain. Great. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> Come on.
We made it. And we got a hundred dollars for the climb. The way it did that with barely any effort. An absolute sight to behold. Right, take a look at the ancient fire pit. It seems that our goal is even higher. Remember about the pointers. Surprisingly challenging rock than I imagined. Some of these environments. So, so is this the fire pit? Can you see it? Where is said fire pit? There it is. So people been using that? <laughs> They just turn up and go, yeah, just stick your fire on here. Fair enough. Fair games. Wow, these ancient bonfires of stones look so cool. Mate, you sound like a nerd. <laughs> you sound like a nerd. Right, one sec. I did see... Which direction was it? It's this way. Get the old binoculars out. Airdrop. Nicely done. Upgrade? What? How do we get that? Tempted just to like drop down this mountain to see if what happens. Yeah, drop again. I'm really tempted to get that upgrade. I might just drop down here. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It probably will go wrong. Could use a anchor actually. That'd be perfect. Break! Uh, right, so we're not quite done yet. I want to try and get that upgrade. So. Winch it. And let's go. I'm coming! Oh, gee, look, that's a weird... What the? <laughs> that's never happened before. Uh, sure. Guess that's one way to do it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Whoa. Okay, this looks bad. I'm attached to that tree. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> We keep going. We're still rolling. This is falling with style. Oh my god, we are rolling. I don't believe we take water damage. <laughs> don't think we do. Come on, flip it over. Flip it. Yeah. Woo. Done. And get this upgrade. Oh. It wasn't quite what I planned, but here we are. Between these trees. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Come on. Uh, Off-road gearbox. For what? Oh, there we go. Get in. Get in. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Sue. Herby. Superb. Uh, I might be worth just whipping out the binoculars again just to make sure there's nothing else around. Hello? I think that might be it. Next up is Water is Life. The effects of climate change are widespread and complicated. It's better to monitor the most sensitive wildlife in the reserves, especially aquatic life of the local rivers and lakes. We need all the help we can get. Well, that's while I'm here. I'm installed the new gearbox on the Khan. We are golden. Very excited for this. To use the new off-road gearbox. Um, let's add some jack screws and some anchors. I think that will do. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
Famous last words. Um, we've got the best snorkel on. We won't take any water damage, actually. So why am I even concerned about taking water damage? Because this guy is OP as hell. The Northern Outpost. Let's begin our expedition into the unknown. I'm guessing we're going to be entering lakes and stuff like that. I'd imagine so. Right, get rid of that. Yeah, all to his life. It is. Let's go. Can the Khan deliver again? That's the question. I hope so. I'm sure it will. It's more than capable. Again, the conditions look crazy. The Unshakable Island, I've heard, is meant to be pretty tough. <laughs> so, even for a vehicle like this, with the best driver like myself in it, would struggle. <laughs> oh, God. Whee! Oh, my God. I was expecting a big smash there. I accelerated. It's actually quite a cool jump in the end. Let's go up to there now. Okay. Scan the fish in the pond with the echo sounder. Okay, we can do that. We can definitely do that. So get to that location. Use the echo sounder to work out the, the water depths. I'm guessing it'll pick up little fishes as well. Should I go round this lake or should I go through it? I'll go round it. That seems like the most sensible decision. Apparently, the, yeah, the lights are working again. I was going to say, the lights aren't as bright as they probably should be. I hope maybe that's a, a glitch or an issue that needs to be addressed. That looks too bad. We've arrived. Let's begin the scan. Don't quite know how this works. Find all the necessary underwater objects by selecting a scanning point. It's quite a big area. But we're looking for some kind of... There's fishies there. Let's begin with this one. Does that find anything? Okay. Another fish. And another one. Have I failed it? Or is that good? <laughs> I don't know. We are scanning fish. Yay! I did it. Tracking fish in the water. With the echo sound is quite a challenge. You did a good job. Thank you. I did try. Uh, we are now going to grab a water sample. Are we? All right. Let's get it done. Let's get it delivered. I might try and somehow unlock. We keep un unlocking scout vehicles. I want to unlock off-road trucks. Some kind of off-road truck. Next. I've got two new scout vehicles, which have been more than capable, been more than happy with both of them. I want a big off-road truck for the more ambitious jobs. If we can find one, I definitely want to try and recover it. A million percent. I'm really enjoying this, um, this environment, though. For its little challenges, and it just looks so pretty as well. And it's not really, I mean, we have environment. We have environments that look like this in SnowRunner. This, this was different for some reason, I don't want it. Maybe I'm just talking BS, who knows. Whoop. Little airdrop over there. Done. Is that the water sample? I believe it is. Uh, scan the fish in the pond. Which is up there. Okay. Let's get going. Uh, I should probably use my binoculars and discover it. Oh, look! An airdrop. I think we're okay for like fuel and all stuff, honestly, so we'll just leave it. A little bit of help there. It's quite rocky. There we go. trees here. <laughs> Can I squeeze between there? Okay. No. 
enough space? Mm. The trees to my left I can just about fit through. Uh, how to pull it? There's a lot of foliage in my way between me and my location. I want to get to. I think we can get through here. The thing is, when you're, particularly if it's obviously quite vertical, the input on your so you're turning left it doesn't always turn as left as you would like it. That does cause issues. I don't think the turning circle on these vehicles is particularly great anyway, to be honest. Do some more scanning. Definitely seems to be an environmental aspect to this, this region as well. Let's begin the scan again. Couple here. I think they're fishes anyway. Whee! And... Again. Scan successful. We've scanned the fishies. An expedition is done. Uh, I might quickly just have a little uh, binocular check around here. We've just unlocked a brand new gateway to the Unshakable Island, which sounds pretty tough, honestly. <laughs> Could be pretty tough. Oh, some bridges. A food, a boat. Interesting. Anything else of note? I was hoping for like an upgrade. No, that's the problem. Well, I mean, might be might find more than that, but guess not. Ooh, scan. Money in the bank. Job done, good and job done well. That's what we do. The balance of nature this requires an off-road vehicle um, because we need this hydro monitoring system. So this might be where the Axion comes out some plays. Uh, we're probably going to do a little bit of, look at this, Unshakable Island. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> it sounds pretty tough. I've actually got one unlocked, which is actually classed as hard. Doesn't say what vehicle we need, but very watery terrain. Lots of height differences, fairly long, particularly for this region. But that'll be tough. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hoping we can unlock a new vehicle in the next video. That's the plan. Um, all going well. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.